is Mrs Payne here and today in maths we're going to be learning about making tens. So we're looking for what two numbers can combine to make ten. And all you'll need for this activity are some post-it notes. If you've got them in two different colours that would be great and a pen. If you don't have post-it notes then you can just cut up bits of paper but it would be great if they were in two different colours. And then you'll see here that I've written the numbers 0 to 10 onto two different sets of post-it notes. So I've got 0 to 10 in green and 0 to 10 in orange. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through the numbers and I'm going to join them up with the number that will make it to 10. So if I start at 0, I'm going to take my green 0 and I'm going to stick it up on the wall here. And I'm going to think, what number do I need to add to 0 to make 10? Then I'm going to look at my orange one and think, oh, I think, how much do I add on to 0 to make 10? 10. And then I'm going to put the green one and the orange one together. 0 and 10 together makes 10. Then I'm going to move on to my next green one. My next green one is 1. What number do I need to add on to 1? to make 10. And if you're not sure, you can always use your fingers. So if you think you've got the number 1, how many fingers have you got left to make it up to 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I know that 1 plus 9 equals 10. And you just keep going until you've filled up and matched up all the different numbers with their different combinations. I'll do one more example, one in the middle. Let's pick an orange one first this time. Now I've got my number four, okay? So I'm gonna start with the orange four. What number do I add on to four to make it up to 10? I've got four here. Then how many do I need to add on to get to 10? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I know that four plus six makes 10. And if you can do it without your fingers, even better. But they're there to help you if you need to. Once you've matched up all of them and put all the different pairs together, take a photo of what you've done and then share it on your Padlet wall so that your teacher can see it and give you some feedback. Good luck and hope you have fun with your maths. Bye!